Good afternoon, Pigholic friends. Today is August 27th, and here's a Greek variety, um, and I can't pronounce these names very well, um, and I'll spell it out, of course, on the title description, but Lefka Pralius. Um, I don't believe that we got any fruit from this last year, or I just missed getting um, a video or photos of it but I noticed there's some fruit on the ground here already, and I see one ripe fig. Um, I don't know much about this variety. Um, it supposedly was common um, variety, but um, I can't test that here. Um, a lot of our fruits here I know have not been caprified. I can tell a difference on some of the trees, um, and I expect probably next year even fewer of them will be caprified. Um, my neighbor had a really large capra fig um, tree on his property located oh, about a thousand feet away from our orchard and um, he's cleaning up trees out of ditches and things like that and getting ready to plant alfalfa and he pulled that out recently. But anyway, let's take a look. It's um, grown fair, um, not great, but it's starting to take off better now. I see another smaller ripe one on the other side. It has a significant stem on it. You know, it's drying down some already. It's got a small eye on it. Very sweet honey type thing. Now for what it's worth, um, my Jerupa is a honey type fig and I notice on there um, larger figs that, you know, apparently are caprified have a a light red color and the ones that are smaller um, don't have that reddish color. They're an amber pulp so that might be an indication that this has not been caprified. Um, this is a small one. Again a significant stem on it. Now this one's darker but it's just very dry too so I don't think that um, this is what I'd be calling a light red color. But anyway we'll continue to evaluate it. Um, we'll probably sell some cuttings and you know to our you know best of our knowledge it's supposed to be a common variety. Thanks for watching.